back on Hammer Brothers with the total, true, absolute finale. We're gonna do it. Got ten minutes, right? We're, you got <laughs> ten minutes. Or hell, at this point, however long it takes. That's not a hard limit. Shots as you can in this bug eyed bastard. There you go. Eyes are really, really, really weird. Mm -hmm. uh. I'm trying to concentrate. You talk. Uh, Nigo the Butch. So tell me. Um, I'd like to definitely know if you could find. Oh, the little candles light up as you go by. That's pretty cool. Mm. Um, where on the internet can you get one of those uh, uh Vigo the Carpathian prints? I want one. Yeah. Hey, what about the one I have in my room with the Ghostbusters? Oh, that's right. You do. You have a. Uh, we picked it up at a uh, at a uh, pop culture convention in uh, in uh, Pittsburgh. Well, Monroeville, really. But uh, it is a print of the uh, of the Ghostbusters at the conclusion of this film. Remember when they yes. they zap the Vigo painting and they're all wearing togas and holding Oscar? Matt has a print of that on his wall. I should have got Ernie Hudson to sign it when I had the chance. And I know there are people out there that have, like, Vigo the Carpathian prints. I think that one is cooler. <laughs> Maybe uh. one of the Fermicellis. Ooh. Ooh. Am I even doing this right? Look, he's doing the typical bad guy flash when you hit him, so... I think it's kind of like the other, the other bosses where you just have to just... Keep on him until he's maybe maybe he's gonna start blinking like in Ninja Turtles. Whoa! Oh, almost walked right into it. Yeah, he'll, st he'll start blinking like in Ninja Turtles too. Will flash orange with any luck. Ugh. Hmm. I'm sorry to keep pointing it out, but those fucking eyes, man. Oh. Oh, Lord. It's far too close. Oh my god, have we done it? I think. Hey, Oscar! Oscar. Hey, wait, and we left them? Oh. No, went with Dana. Motherfucker, we've done it. Oh. Hey, there's like a cutie, like a cutie Vigo. Oh, Statue of Liberty! That wasn't in the game. Well, it's here in the credits. Oh, oh, neat. <laughs> we, got a little, we got a little celebration at the end. At, I've be I'll tell you what, I've beaten the other Ghostbusters too. All you get is a newspaper headline that says, Ghostbusters save the day, happy new year. <laughs> this is already more interesting. Thank you, GSX Suga. You directed a fantastic game. And proved the justice of our culture. Suga? Yes, Suga? Black? Uh, what? What? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> and they look at each other like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. i tell you what. Like I said, this game... This game should have came out in the U.S. And it didn't. 
and it's huh. <laughs> this game should have came out in the US and it didn't and it sucks that it didn't because this would have been and all test players and you too hey look they thanked us yeah you know this game is far better than the Ghostbusters 2 game we did get I was this game was oh, fun the whole time that. oh <laughs> Fuck you, Lewis. <laughs> this game was fun the whole time. These guys help me when I turn into a dog. Oh. Man, this game was just fucking cool. I tell you what. It got a little tough, but it was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was it was tough, but it wasn't tough like the other two games were. Yeah. The original Ghostbusters was just boring. It was downright dull. Yeah. And then Ghostbusters 2, with the, the last levels where you had to repeat it four different times, each one getting progressively harder, you know, we had, we were cheating and still couldn't clear it. Yeah. So, but this, I think it had, it had just a right amount of challenge. Like, it got harder. That Those last final bosses were deservedly hard, but up to that point was still very manageable. You know, it was, it was a very ease of difficulty like this I never grew tired of it I'm, I say again had this come out in you in the US this could have been a top 20 NES game even top 10 see ya <laughs>